Hello, my name is Sander and welcome back to another video about the Inventory Master Asset. Today we're gonna create a complete scene on our own. Um, and this video will be in more parts actually, because otherwise it will be way too much. Um, firstly, the first thing is we're gonna create uh, the terrain with the inventory and the player capsule. Um, I'm gonna show you how this will look like. Um, uh, yeah, we got this example scene. We will do this like this, uh, actually, because um, there I can show you how the scripts is working, the event system, and yeah, how the general system itself is working. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, if you want to see the web version, um, uh, the link of the web version is in the yeah, in the description below. Um, yeah, you can open the inventory with uh, with I and we we'll see the character system with K, the cross system, and yeah, maybe you saw you already saw the introduction video, and uh, yeah, we will create this uh, from scratch, um, so also with this uh, HP bar. Um, I'm gonna show you um, firstly how much code this was, actually it wasn't much, um, it was, yeah, it was not really much, it was around 150 lines of codes. Um, yeah, this will be in the example scene as well, so you can uh, look into it. Um, yeah, these are the events which are called when you just drag and drop an item or, or in the character system, and this is uh, when you unequip an item, or this is uh, when you consume an item. So actually, it is working pretty easily. Um, yeah, this is what we will do. Um, so let us start with it. Um, the first thing which we need is um, terrain. Um, just go into it. Oops. Okay, this looks weird. Okay, and oops, not a tree. Wait, a terrain. And um, this terrain. Wait, just let me take this like this. And this terrain should be has a width of 100 and 100. Otherwise, it will be way much too big because we want to create a random loot system later, so that I can explain you how um, the scripts are working. Um, okay, uh, then we need a light, um, like a directional light, uh, and drag this light there below, and uh, yeah, and like rotation into it so that we have the light in this. Okay, let us create some hills, otherwise it looks ugly, um, like the opacity like this. Uh, oh, wait, too much. Um, okay, take this lower in the middle, more hills. Well, it's <laughs> maybe too high. Still too high. I'm not the perfect level designer, to be honest. I'm pretty w weak in this. Um, okay, just like create some crazy hills. Uh, still too high. <laughs> Like this, uh, this is way much better. Okay. Okay, now we got small hills in our scene. Um, so just go over it with this tool. So they are not like. Yeah, it's looking better than. So actually, it's like a pixel now at the moment, but okay. Okay, the other thing which we need is a 3D object, a capsule in our example, and this capsule, yeah, I just drag and drop this in the middle of it, like, and let's let it drop onto the terrain. Um, what we need to do, um, yeah, i gonna call it player, you do not need to do this, um, but what you have to do is you have to take uh, your player as player, otherwise you will get uh, problems and errors with my system. Um, yeah, then you need an um, uh, yeah a controller. I have a first person controller, but I'm gonna use it, uh, is it at, uh, as a third person controller. Um, yeah, these are the first things which we need. We have to attach the main camera to it and position it to zero zero zero, and like and I want to have this like this more. Yeah, and yeah, let me take player on the ground like this, and yeah, and when I start now, 
everything should work now. Yeah. So far it's looking nice now. Okay, and let us start with the yeah, the inventory. Um I've already created some items, so um they are all in the item database already. Um to create an inventory, go to master system, create an inventory and storage and go to 2D and or 2D view. And now you got this inventory here. Um so um maybe you have recognized there's a game empty game object which is called inventories and um there's the canvas below this is the canvas and uh, under this can canvas are all the inventories so when i create another inventory like this you see um there are all the inventories so um i going to delete this one uh, we only want one inventory so okay let us go deeper into the scripts so um this tick box or toggle box you need this um or you have to tick this when this inventory is for your player um, actually this is for the player i have to tick this and it's automatically tick this as a main inventory so um yeah in the inventory settings you can change the height of the inventory um the width of it um the slot size of it i have set let it yeah by 50 um like this uh the icon size is later i can show oh wait let me add some items i, I can show you this instantly add bottle uh, mana bottle and yeah you can see this here now you can change the icon size i gonna do uh, let this by default of 45 uh, the padding is, yeah, the padding um, to the border, uh, right, top, and bottom is as well, and you can sp have the spacing between the slots as well in X and Y axis. Um, you can s uh, say you want to have stacking so that you can uh, position the number of it how you like. Um, I like it on the top right side. So that is um, yeah for the inventory script, and when we go to our inventory design, you can call uh, maybe you want to have a header of it. Um, you call it inventory. Then you also can change the position of it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you want something weird. Maybe maybe not. And um, yeah, you can position this. You can change the uh, the number uh, the the font itself. Uh, like uh, maybe you want normal bold italic or whatever. Change the color excuse me and yeah the inventory design itself uh, firstly i don't want to have a title because i have a design which has better yeah let me say a header um okay i want to change the source or the the background of the the inventory let me take this one and change the color of it and yeah i want to have a x icon this is on the top right side then later i have to position this Anyways, again, uh, you can change the d design of it. Um, yeah, the slot design is actually uh, at the moment. <laughs> I can ch you can change this as well. It's on the right one now. Um, yeah, I want to have this on the white color. Otherwise, it looks pretty dumb. Um, these are getting saved as a prefab, so don't be worried when you add some new slots um, while runtime. You will have the same design of it. Okay, uh, when we have done this, we have to position our uh, our slots again. Uh, we go to the paddings here, and we have to set the padding better now. Um, right is now okay. I guess 20 is better. Um, like this, and this, and the top should be, I guess, 55. Yeah, and the bottom also 20. And this should be fine now. Okay, we have to position our x cross or i don't know x icon i don't know how you want to call this um yeah this looks better i guess yeah this is okay and yeah now we need to attach to our uh, attach another script to our our player game object and here a bunch of yeah game objects which you can add um when you start now you will get an arrow so don't forget to add this panel inventory to this inventory. This means uh, this is the main inventory for your player. When you start this now, 
and press E, you will op you can open this. Uh, what you can actually do is uh, you right control and left click onto it, and you can split them, and yeah, you can drag around, and yeah, they are getting swapped. <laughs> you can consume them, but nothing happens at the moment. Uh, you can also drop this item. Um, you see, uh, it's on the ground, and with uh, E, you can just pick it up again. Uh, you can close it, you can open it again, uh, yeah, and you can drag it around. Um, so if you don't want to have a, a, you don't want to have a dragged inventory, you can um, go to this title and take the script out, and you got no problem. Like uh, I take this out, out once, and yeah, and now I cannot drag anything. Maybe you want you have uh, fixed fixed inventory like in League of Legends on the top left side uh, on the bottom left side so that you have this inventory every time there yeah if you want to have this you can just take this script out but actually I don't uh, I want this um maybe you also have to fix this because actually how you see the uh, you see this um this dragging is only limited to this position here um maybe you have to drag this like this here so you have a bigger yeah bigger Drag, um, drag field. Um, like you will see when I press E now, I won't be able to drag this here, but I will be able to drag this there, and yeah, it's still working. Okay, the next step will be we will create some our tooltip for our inventory uh, for our, our items. I will show you this how this works, and yeah, see you, see you then. Bye bye.